Does a higher market cap create wealth? The crypto community is obsessed with market cap. The market capitalization of a company is the price of each share multiplied by the number of outstanding shares and is used to provide an indication of what the market believes a company is worth. For crypto tokens, the market cap is the price of each token multiplied by the number of outstanding tokens. But there is an important difference. Someone might actually want to buy all the shares of a company at its current valuation, and nobody would buy all outstanding tokens of a cryptocurrency at any valuation. So what does that number really mean for a currency? If a crypto token has a $1 trillion market cap, does it mean $1 trillion was invested? Is there a $1 trillion fund being put to work on behalf of investors generating a return that justifies higher prices? Does it mean the currency created $1 trillion in new purchasing power? Of course not. It means next to nothing, largely because it's so easy to manipulate. You can create a $1 trillion market cap with $1 of invested capital. In unregulated markets where people can trade back and forth with themselves to set the price of a token to be just about anything they want, just as the price of a token can be arbitrary, the market cap thus can also be arbitrary. You just need a large enough pool of tokens relative to the daily volume and you can corner the market. The news media needs to stop pretending these wild gains are meaningful. Wealth is not how many digits are in your bank account. It's how much stuff those digits can buy. A bigger number in your phone doesn't cause more Lambos to spontaneously appear on the planet. They still need to be manufactured with land, labor, and capital. Real stuff needs to be produced with raw materials, energy, and time. You can only create wealth by building things and offering services that people need and value. You cannot create wealth by increasing the price of a cryptocurrency. It doesn't matter if the market cap is $1 or $1 trillion, it created nothing. If you have a billion dollar crypto portfolio concentrated in a coin that has a million dollars of daily volume, what do you think will happen if you want to sell those tokens? Crypto people will often interject at this point by saying, well, that's no different from a stock. Yes, it's absolutely true that some stock positions in a company could be so large that trying to liquidate them would crash the price. But the key difference they always forget to mention is that shares represent ownership of a business. The price of the stock might tell you from day to day how the market values that business, but the market perception of a business in the short term doesn't affect the actual operations of that business. So even if the price collapses due to insider trading of some kind, you still own a share of that business. You still have something of value. The same is true for commodities like gold, oil, or wheat. Even if someone tried to rug pull on your gold position and the price collapsed, you still have the gold. No matter what happens to the price of gold, roughly 50% of new production is consumed by industry or for jewelry, and those people would likely cheer and buy more. Contrast that to crypto. If someone rug pulls your crypto token, does that cause consumers of that token to cheer and buy more? Of course not, because tokens have no consumers, only speculators. And speculators want the number to go up. If they stop believing the number will go up, they will not buy. If the number isn't going up, the token serves no purpose. When people say crypto has no fundamental value, this is what they're talking about. It's not semantics. It's not an old way of looking at the world. It's the difference between real and fantasy. Every conversation about the price of a crypto token is irrelevant until the crypto token has demonstrated real world utility. When a token has value, then we can talk about if the price is fair. Until the token has value, any price is arbitrary and silly. I actually believe many crypto people understand this distinction but they don't care as long as their numbers keep going up. Building a profitable business is hard. Flipping useless virtual coins is easy and makes you feel clever. Everyone loves to feel smarter than their peers. Everyone loves the idea of finding a hack 
that allows them to escape the rat race and live a fancy life without investing time and effort. If one person steals $1,000 from 1,000 people, he has a million dollars that might change his life forever, but he only mildly inconvenienced those 1,000 people who can make that money back in a week and are probably too embarrassed to tell anyone about their mistakes. People are capable of rationalizing anything they feel is in their interest, but having excuses to justify your point of view doesn't make that point of view correct or, more importantly, good.